What is temporal? Temporal is just software that enables your application to have durable execution. What is durable execution? Durable execution means that your code runs reliably. It survives crashes and other failures that happen in or outside of your application. And in general, to achieve durable execution, your code has to do three things. It needs to save the state after each step, retry failed steps, and then resume from the last successful step after a crash. So let's look at an example. So here's an example of non-durable execution. Let's say we have a function here that charges a customer, reserves inventory, schedules shipment, and sends confirmation. Okay, there's a typical e-commerce example. If we don't have any retries or state management, the app could fail after any of these steps and it would be catastrophic for this application. Here's an example how to do it by hand, which typically out in the wild today is how most applications handle this. So we process the order and we keep track of completed steps. So we have a state machine where we keep track of what happened uh, and if it completed or not. So if it did ship, then we add it to completed steps ship. Um, but there's a number of pitfalls that happen here, right? So you still have to persist completed steps somewhere, probably in a database. Uh, there's no automatic retries or state recovery in this. So you need to actually code and make sure that we have retries. Uh, and then also if the app crashes, how do you configure replay or recovery? This is how most applications do it. I've coded this by hand on many applications myself. It's tedious and takes a lot of time to actually get right. Okay, so here is the temporal example of the same code above. So we wrapped in, in these annotations, workflow interface and activity interface. And here is the implementation steps, but it's wrapped in a temporal workflow. And inside a temporal workflow, temporal guarantees that each of these steps will be completed in order as long as it takes. So even if failures happen, retries will occur and the state will all be managed by temporal. Okay, so how does temporal work at a high level? We have a few things to explain here. So we have workflows, and this is basically, you first do this, then that. That's the sequence of steps that we want temporal to execute in a durable execution fashion. And then we have activities. Uh, we wrap any task, like sending email or API calls or database calls uh, in activities, which are then retried if needed by temporal. And then the workflow will call each of these activities. And you can see that above here. Uh, we have charge customer, all these things are activities. Okay, and then temporal server runs in the background. So it's a separate server that keeps track of all of the state. Okay, so we don't have, to have a separate, our own database that manages all the state. Temporal server keeps track of all the steps that were done or failed, what needs to be uh, retried. And then temporal workers actually run the code. So usually you have separate workers that actually will run this code that take messages from the temporal server on what to run so that everything is in a durable execution fashion. Hope that made sense. That's a quick overview of temporal. I'll be posting more videos about temporal in the future.